Hey, you Dolphins have been playing good baseball overall. The bats have been hot. One player is coming off an historic week. <laughs> Action Sports Shacks Marcel Robinson does have that story. On Saturday, we told you about the barrage of home runs being tallied by the UNF baseball team. The JU Dolphins had quite the week in the batter's box as well. Chris Armstrong had a field day, or should I say, a field week. It's carrying back to the wall. He's done it again. The graduate transfer hit a total of eight home runs in three games. It feels really good. Uh, those are numbers you, you think to produce in a, a full season, let alone a single weekend. The majority of those home runs came in the Central Arkansas series. See ya, Chris Armstrong with another laser home run. Three homers on Saturday and a repeat performance on Sunday. You know, it's, it kind of felt like a dream, and uh, I was actually fortunate enough for the other team to keep competing and, you know, keep battling with me and throw pitches that were in the zone and I was able to hit. As far as the weekend goes, everyone was kind of speechless. I was speechless myself. It's just not something that you see every day. Yeah, that was a special week. I mean, it, while you're in the middle of it, you're kind of, one, is this really happening? You know, I mean, when, it gets to, when you get to Sunday and three more come, and um, you're in amazement. Their head coach, Chris Hayes, was a happy man because not only was Chris Armstrong crushing pitches, the team was on a roll winning five straight games during those two series. You know, it's hard not to look at what Chris did last week and say, wow, I mean, it's a once in a lifetime. I mean, I've been, in, I've been in this game a long time, and it's the first time I've ever seen something like that. The question is why opposing pitchers kept pitching to Armstrong. He practically had a do not enter sign in the strike zone. The credit for that goes to the rest of the Dolphins. Their success left them with no choice but to poke the bear. He hit eight balls really well, and he actually probably had 13 balls that he hit extremely well. But somebody had to be on base in front of him in order to force somebody to pitch to him, to force Central Arkansas to pitch to him. And those guys at the top of the order, Chase Malloy, Justin Nadeau, the guys behind him, you know, even at the bottom of the order with Cam Ridley and Eli Flowers have done a great job of getting on base, forcing those pitchers to pitch to Chris, and Chris has been able to deliver. Armstrong was named National Player of the Week from multiple outlets, but don't expect those accolades to change a thing. you got to, you know, stick to your approach, and uh, my approach right now is just attacking pitches that, you know, I can drive into the gaps rather than just put in play for, for little singles or whatnot. I'm, I'm really just trying to drive the ball to the fences. Both Hayes and Armstrong went on to say that the feat by Chris capped off one heck of a week, but the most important part is how it's helped elevate the entire team as they prepare for the second half of the season. In the studio, Marcel Robinson, Action Sports Jacks.